Hey guys, it's Ebony and I'm back with a special, special, special video for you. That was so corny. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about this video. It's very different, obviously, from the type of videos that I usually do. This is Ebony's Curly TV, so I normally do videos about hair only. But this time I'm going to be trying something a little bit different because I've been seeing a lot of comments asking, you know, what lipstick is that you have on? I love your lip gloss. It's so pretty. What is that? What's that lipstick you're wearing? So I decided to go ahead and record a video so that everyone could see. I was noticing by going back through a lot of my comments that I missed people's questions. I saw comments from weeks ago, months ago, and I'm like, how did I miss that? So yeah, I just decided to make a video so that everyone would get the answers that they wanted. I've been wanting to learn makeup for the longest time. I've always loved makeup, but never really had the time to devote to learning. Now this is a way for me to practice by doing a video like this and posting it for you guys to see. So if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. I will definitely take that into consideration. I love, love makeup. I love playing in it. I love experimenting. I love practicing, looking crazy, looking good. You never know what's going to happen sometimes when you're learning how to do makeup. And so I just think it's really, really fun. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. But in the meantime, go ahead and watch this video and I will see you all in my next one. Okay guys, for my first look, I'll use the ColourPop Razor Lip Liner. As you'll see throughout the video, I use a lot of ColourPop products. I love their products. They're really affordable and pretty good quality. So after that, I'll use the Razor Lippy Stick. I'm just creating a nice pink natural tone base for this look. And once I do that, I just go in with the MAC Sugar Rimmed Lip Gloss. At first, the lip gloss bottle looked a little glittery. I was like, I don't know about this, but it actually was the perfect touch to make this look look so natural and so pretty and so dainty. All right, for the next look, which is like a mauve purplish, pinkish look. If you can't tell by now, I don't have these looks named, but that's all right. I'll just be using the ColourPop Razor Lip Liner again, and then I'll fill in with the ColourPop Zipper Matte Liquid Lipstick. When I first tried this liquid lipstick, I was like, I don't know, this is a little bit too purple. So I just experimented with more colors, and that was when I decided to add in the Stingray liquid lipstick to kind of balance it out a little bit and give it just a little bit more, I don't know, just a little bit more depth. And it came out really, really pretty. Now on to one of my most favorite, favorite ColourPop looks. For this look, I'll be using the Bitchette Lip Liner. The Bitchette Lip Liner. <laughs> um, I use this liner whenever I'm using a dark, dark pink liquid lipstick or a red lipstick, of course. It's a good idea to use liner whenever you're using lipsticks that are really dark pink or a red color because those colors tend to bleed. And you won't notice it at first, but when you start to take pictures and throughout the night, you'll notice it. So it's always good to line your lips when using a dark lip color. And once I finish lining my lips, I'll just jump in with the ColourPop More Better Liquid Lipstick. This is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks from this company. It just gives me that deep, dark pink berry look that I love all year round. I know some people might consider it a fall color, but I wear it winter, summer, spring, fall. I don't care, I love this color. Okay, on to another very popular look, the classic red lip. I'll be using ColourPop's Bossy Liner to line my lips. Again, make sure that whenever you're wearing a dark lipstick, especially red, you line those lips because if you don't, you will have red lipstick down to your chin by the end of the night. So make sure you line those lips. Now for red lips, I like to just go ahead and fill in my lips as much as possible with the red liner, just because it gives a really nice base. Because if you don't, sometimes lipstick can you know, get dry and crease and split, and then it can look a little patchy on your mouth. So it's just a good idea to go ahead and fill in your lips with the liners if you want. Now to complete the look, I'm gonna be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. 
I have had this matte lip cream for a while now and I love it. Every time I wear a red lip, I use it, even if I just use a little bit of it because it just has such a stunning deep red look. Now you can stop there if you want or you can use ColourPop Avenue just to give it a little bit more depth or even darker red. Alright, last but not least is the problem child look out of this whole video. You will see what I'm talking about in a minute. First I go in with the ColourPop Bossy Liner. You can use Bichette for this look, I usually do, but somehow I forgot and used Bossy. And then I went ahead and filled in my lips with ColourPop LAX. I really love this color in the bottle because it has such a rich brown burgundy look to it. I feel like it's perfect for fall, but it gets so patchy on my lips whenever I rub my lips together when applying it. I don't understand why, like it's just so frustrating. So once I had enough of that, I just took my ColourPop Avenue and tried to fill in the gaps just to kind of blend it all together and it actually turned out really, really pretty. So my advice to you is just keep on going, keep trying. If you're gonna do this look, just be aware that sometimes this formula for LAX can be a bit difficult. But yeah, once you do it, the payoff is beautiful and I wish you well. <laughs> Hopefully you have better luck than I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first makeup video. Like I said before, let me know in the comments if you wanna see more like this. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching.